Y'all ain't gonna believe this. My heart just about stopped. Right up here, I wanna show you something. This is really cool. It has produced stuff before, so I have to check it. I just hope the floods didn't cover it up like last time. We had a hard time finding it. We had to scratch it out, see? I discovered this a couple of years ago, and I've only been back twice. We've already found something cool, so I'm hoping something else has uh, appeared. Stay with me now. You're going to like this. It's right through here somewhere. Last time I had to scratch it out because uh, the flood mug covered it up. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let me clear some of this rubbish and branches out so you can see better. What we've got here is an ancient fire pit that is still in situ in the bank. And it is half washed out. And you can see all these stones that were abandoned in the fireplace before these people left. And what I think these are, these red stones, are heating and cooking stones, you know, for warming water and other things. You can see them coming out of here all black and red. There's a thick layer of charcoal in here too, jammed in with these stones. So what I'm going to do I got a little uh, trowel. I'm going to pull some of these stones out and see what we can find. See if any of them are tools or what. And this fire pit is probably, I would say, five to five and a half feet below the surface of the ground up here, which would have been up on a hill at one time where the natives like to live. And this Ohio River never used to be this full. And before the dams were put in, and they were controlling this water, it would have almost completely dried up sometimes in the summertime. But now when the river floods, it comes up and it eats a little bit more of this bank up here where the natives were living. And here's something interesting also. You see these fired stones here coming out? These are about 10 inches above the fire pit. So those stones could be people that came in after these folks with the fire pit. These stones are just packed in here. See all that black charcoal coming out of there? And right here, there is a huge piece of charcoal. It looks like a, wow, it's almost a, ah, oh, it's breaking apart. There's like a whole branch right there. This charcoal gets real fragile when it gets exposed, I guess. There was a piece right here that was sticking out to there. It was like a slither of wood burnt about that big. This stuff is packed. Well, I'm going to get the shovel and dig a little bit of this out of here. And uh, I'll let you know if we find anything of uh, any significance. Here's half of a grinding stone. You can see this flat place worn on it right there. Now it's not quite as nice as the other one we pulled out two years ago, but it is an artifact. Let's get back in here. Broke my shovel, cheap junk. I'm trying to get over top of the stones and then come down into the fire pit so it's not all disturbed when we hit all these uh, coals.
I think we've reached the back of the fire pit. I got all the overburden off on top. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sift through these charcoals and see if I can't find it. And what I'm looking for is maybe a flint piece, a little arrow tip would be really nice to come out of there. I would know the exact age of it. I had this fire pit dated. You can go back and watch the video on that. I'll leave a link in the description below just to see how old this is. You can see all these stones I've pulled out of here. There's a whole pile of them. I think the uh, whole front half of the fire pit is gone. Like if this was the fire pit, the river has washed it right there and we have wrenched the back of the fire pit. Wow, these coals are big. That's a huge one there. Ah! Well, there is flint in here. Not an arrowhead, just a piece of debutage, but it is a piece of flint. Look at that huge piece of charcoal. Woo! Stuff's thick in here. This fire was burnt for a long time. I assumed when they're, uh, wow, look at that huge piece. Oh, that's another rock. My guess is before they moved out of the wigwam, maybe it was getting kind of run down and they wanted to move to a different place. They threw all the cooking stones and junk in the fire and just left. And a, uh, a simple structure like a wigwam, once it was abandoned, it wouldn't have been there two, three years. It would have been rotted down and covered up by foliage. Then with the river flooding every now and then, it's got this under five, five and a half feet of earth. Wow, some of these charcoals are huge in here. Right there's a, it gets thick right there. Oh man, that's like a whole, almost a whole branch. You can still see the wood fibers in this. I'm trying to get some of these things out of here whole. Some of them are pretty solid, like that one. There was one about four or five inches long, but it fell apart because I kind of squeezed it a little too hard oh there's a huge piece and that one fell apart oh look at this it's like a whole branch oh wait a minute hold on Y'all ain't gonna believe this. My heart just about stopped. Now I'm gonna let you be the judge on what you think it is because I know there's gonna be somebody in there that says it's just a stick. But I guarantee you this ain't just a stick. Look at this. Let me get you in the sun. It's very fragile. I'm afraid of it falling apart. I'm going to have to hand carry this thing out of here. But you can clearly see up there on the top, that's a definite notch. In my opinion, it's what's left of the limb of a bow. I'm going to let this dry and maybe it won't uh, disintegrate or break in half. Now I'm going to hand carry it out of here, but I want you to look at this. You can clearly see a notch right there for a string. And look at this. It looks like it's got a slight curve to it. This is the most amazing thing I've ever found in my life. 
you just don't find this biodegradable stuff around here unless it's in like a shell dump preserved or i guess in a fire now i'm gonna let this dry out the rest of the way and then i'll take it home and uh take a light brush and try to get that dirt off of it a little piece broke off of it you can see it's all chipped up only thing I can figure is maybe the middle of the bow probably got burned up but the limb was close enough to the edge of the fireplace when the fire went out and it didn't quite destroy it all I mean that's just my guess but that makes sense I put it in my sandwich bag a piece broke off the back of it but at least it didn't come off the string end I don't even think I'm going to try to brush that dirt off as fragile as it is I'm just going to make a little glass case or see if I can find one to fit it and preserve that. <laughs> 